It's okay. I want everybody to know that uh, I'm doing this podcast right now with no shoes on. So <gasps> Me too. No way. Yeah. I would have done it through pink eye too. Like uh, I- I'm committed. I'm committed <laughs> to the podcast again. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I don't really have a style. I'm a songwriter. I'm not a rapper. I'm a songwriter. I'm a singer, a poet, a writer. Are you a ghostwriter for Drake? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. Hey. So, I, again, I, I I don't want to butcher this. You, were you you were born? You had a premature birth. Yes. And you didn't give birth. You were born. <laughs> <laughs> clarify, clarify for everybody out there. But you were born the size of a baby bird, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I was born 24 weeks premature. 24. Um, 24 weeks. I was born in March. I was supposed to be born sometime in July, and my mom could not even hold me until... I think on Mother's Day. So, I mean, if you think about that, I mean, the first thing that a mom, you know, just wants, you know, to do is to hold a baby, you know, and she, you know, could not do that. So I gave her, you know, so many props, you know, to wait that long, you know. Oh man. Oh, absolutely true. It's a metaphor. Only the finest understand it. So is that why I don't get it? Yeah. Because I'm not fine. Yeah. Or, or am I fine? But I'm just not the finest. You're just not the finest. Okay. Okay. So yeah. How do I become the finest? You're just not the sharpest pencil in the package. Well, can I get a sharpener? Or they're like thirty-five cents at Goodwill. You just get um, you just get a little butter knife and okay. you just sharpen it up. Really? Yeah. Just can you show me that again? Yeah. You just. Is it, is it just the flick of the wrist? Yeah, just a little flick of the wrist there. You just sharpen the that pencil. Look at the flick of the wrist! <laughs> Look at the flick of the wrist! Okay. Did you, did you hear what Elon Musk said about like artificial intelligence? What did he, he say? Said, he like said dangerous. that is the most dangerous thing in the world right now is AI because there's no like government what like, is it? It's like regulation. regulation and so like he says it's like it's getting super advanced and it needs to be regulated because it's getting like to the point where it's getting scary. It's scary too. Yeah. It's like it's an arms race. Like yeah. we're probably competing with like I don't know what other countries are competing. China, I think it's more private. Yeah, China, Russia. Like people, it's yeah, I think like it's, yeah. human AI. Like yeah, conscious. I think it's more private companies, but like military versions more. Oh, I, I would assume. Yeah. I guess I don't know. I would yeah. assume that would make sense. But I just I think it's know. crazy. This but. is like. Have you guys ever seen Black Mirror by chance? No. no. You've been thinking about watching it. Yeah, though. it makes you it. think. It's like it basically like a overview. Every episode's different. It's like a dystopian interpretation of the future. Okay. It's uh, it's really it, it pretty much that same exact yeah. topic. Like it just makes you think about how much shit can go wrong if we don't take the necessary precautions yeah. on like carrying into the future. The first of- um, parents about a friend I'd made, they you know ask, well, you know, are they white? Are they black? Are they Hispanic? Like it mattered. But at the same time, it didn't. They'd always say, oh, well, that's okay, but, you know, be careful and all this. So I picked up on it, but I never really agreed with it because in school I could see, like, these people are the same as me. Like, they're not doing anything. Like, you guys up here, you you have these conflicts with them, but I'm in school and, like, I'm cool with them. They're fun. So That's really cool that you're able to view that from, like, the innocent side yeah. of things. Yeah. Well, I just never understood it. I feel like that is one thing about me, is I've always had, like, an open heart towards things. And I think that was kind of... That's why I think the chiropractor had such a big impact on it, was because whenever these people would come into his office, he didn't have that same mindset like my parents did. Like, if they would come in and they didn't speak English at all, he treated them the same. If they came in and they're all dirty and they look like they hadn't had a shower in weeks, he treated them the same. If they came in and they had a whole bunch of money and they were like uptight in their business suits, he would treat them the same. And so I think that that really gave me like an environment where I could be more like what I always believed in, like kind of act on that rather than like, not that my parents wouldn't let me do that, but I just felt like I was wrong if I would. You know what I mean? Totally, totally. So, yeah. He, he led a really good example, mm-hmm. and that's what you... You agreed with his example more than the example yeah. your parents set for He gave you. me the path that I could, like, act on it. Absolutely. Whereas, like, my parents definitely... Like, they're not racist by any means, don't get me wrong, but, you know, they have those mindsets that they were grown up 
like raised with. So yeah, they're just conditioned. That's yeah, just they're the not, product of their environment. Nothing bad about it. They don't look down on them. It's you look at you really get like a dry, very uh, kind of awkward sense of humor. I like it. Are you calling me dry and awkward? <laughs> dry and awkward. Dry. I, I was referring to your skin. You have dry skin, and 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 and, uh, and awkward vibe. And vibes speak louder than words. And what's your, awkward your, about me? Your clout. My- <laughs> <laughs> your your clout is extremely. I don't. It, it doesn't sound like. It sounds like some like like old man's like neck fat. That's what I thought <laughs> clout was, or like something to do like, with saggy balls. You know, you know balls. gout. Do it, gout. When you have gout in your that's foot. That's right. Maybe, that, maybe that's what I'm gonna mix up. Yeah. Why do you think saggy balls? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is where my mind takes me. Well, I, what I, it's crazy to me, dude. You that thing is it's steep. It's basically like straight up and down, and you are flying down that that uh, wave like. I feel like I'd be going too fast and start freaking out. I'd like yeah, try to slow myself down and and just like the just thinking about like the weight of the that water. wave that crashes yeah. on top of you. I Break mean, your back, dude. You're the wave that big is probably be you know, well, and like tons of water. Just it'll like hold you underwater <laughs> for like ten seconds plus. Like, oh, and that's a lot time. of time to yeah. get underwater. Exactly, and you're like getting tossed around, so you don't know which way's up. Oh, that'd be the worst. You start swimming in the yeah. wrong direction, and then you get a backtrack by the time you yeah, realize. Exactly. Or if you like, if, if it caught you on like a bad breath, like you were breathing out. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you, you, yeah. all the oxygen just left you, and then you gotta struggle to get back yeah. to you. That would suck. Yeah. I think it was- it's called slow motion. Look, I just been keeping to myself. Say I feel like I don't need. Seconds guessing, trying to be first, get to the last, yeah. trying to be a love, it don't make you crash. Loops hey, you're and light, hills just oh, hey, running, cause I can't sit take flight. Like, wheels and square me, but I won't know, yeah, I'll be alright. Chasing my vision, I'm framing each second, just trying to be present, as gifted as I am. I know we can get it as soon as we land, but as soon as we land, everything seems to be in slow motion. Uh, I'm so say I am going to run in this big race, but all of a sudden this brick wall just pops up. Boom. Right. So do I keep bashing myself against it? Hopefully not causing myself any physical damage or harm by trying to push through this stutter. Um, because I have seen cases where it causes some, uh, um, uh, some, uh, 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 some, uh, uh, um, some uh, abuse to your voice and stuff, you know, and uh, it's not good, you know. So I'm. It makes sense because you're that, you know? you're resisting something yeah. that's yeah. that's happening. Mm-hmm. So you're saying you see your stuttering as a mental barrier. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, now a lot of it has, you know. Uh, to do with my uh, my um what's called um uh, a, a um a flow rate you know how fast I talk you know and how accurate the speech is you know blah 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 blah, 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 blah. you said a flow rate yeah okay yeah. and so but if I'm <coughs> but if I'm more smooth and relaxed and don't have all, all the tension in my throat and if I take take my time then a lot of the, uh, then a lot of what we call the um um um, a is fluency, um, um, is um, a lot l- uh, is a lot less l- likely to occur. Um, now, now that right there is um, is called a block, and so I I am I am uh, uh, just kind of blocking on that sound, but there's no. A lot of ways that I can overcome that and be more, and a ton of it has to do with what's up in here, and that's your mindset, you know. See, so, yeah, I like to psychoanalyze my life and like like my experiences in retrospect, and mm-hmm. I, I was just thinking about it. I'm like everything was so perfect, like because I'm the same way. I like I, I love who I am right now. Mm-hmm. I'm so grateful for who I am right now. Yeah, and 
all these things that led me to who I am, like, yeah, some of the things might have sucked. Like, for example, like, depression. Like, I, I went through depression in a yeah. part of life. I went through uh, whatever, whatever, X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. But they've led me to be a certain way, mm -hmm. and I love that about me. Exactly. You, you know learn I mean? from it. You don't let it take you down or let it, like, don't focus on the negative part of it. Just focus on what you can get out of it and how it can help you turn into something better. Like, Absolutely. You see how, like, with depression, you see how bad you can feel on a daily basis. And so then you feel like, okay, I'm not going to accept that anymore. I'm going to do something to where I'm not upset on a daily basis. But other people could just fall into it, and then they're just, you know oh, I'm depressed, and now I'm just, I have a sucky life, and everything sucks, and nothing's going to turn out right for me. But, like, you just got to change your mindset and grow from it, and you'll be thankful for it. And it's cool to have those parallel opposites and, like, it, what an attitude can have an effect yes. on your life. Yeah. Your, just your outlook on life. Yeah. You can have the exact same circumstances with different outlooks mm -hmm. on it all and you can be not content or you can be content with your life yeah I have a whole blog post on that it's called thoughts or things because I had two friends and this was kind of towards the end of the summer where I started realizing like oh like I'm not really doing this for me anymore I had two friends one of them like they had the same situation people were talking about them and saying things that weren't true one of them like really let it get to them and they were just really down on themselves and oh like yeah this is all true everything they're saying is true and the other person was like no like I'm not gonna let them say those things about me and I watched them both go completely different directions one of them went up and like changed everything they were saying and was confident in themselves and the other one just really let all the words get to them and they got depressed and that's interesting mm -hmm. that's interesting with the same yeah. exact they just different responses, same conditioning, yeah. different responses. Yeah. 